Good afternoon YouTube. Today I'm going to be making a video on my Harbor Freight 45 watt solar panel kit I picked up from Harbor Freight. Originally it was $199 but I found a 25% off coupon on the internet which they're very easy to find if you just do some searching. So $150 you know plus a few other things I picked up isn't too bad. What I'm using for batteries currently are two cheap lawn and garden batteries and I know you're supposed to use like a deep cycle marine RV battery but these are what I had laying around and so far so good they're working okay um, I have a 175 watts 350 peak watt power inverter right here I use for powering 120 volt devices like chargers and stuff so if you watching this video you probably already seen a few other videos about the system you get two 5 watt fluorescent lights which they work pretty well. The neat thing is on the, on the front of the charge controller you can see it has a 3 volt, a 6 volt, and two 12 volt plugs. This is the, the, Thunderbolt, the Thunderbolt version. The older versions had, didn't have the cigarette lighter and they also had a 9 volt output. But this is the newest version of the panel kit. So they put an inverter plug and then they put just a normal 12 volt plug. I wouldn't plug an inverter into this just because if you look on the back the wires coming from the batteries or going to the batteries are very thin and that probably wouldn't take very many amps so I would not recommend you plugging your inverter into this unless you're gonna only run like a phone charger or something really small for this inverter I have alligator clips and I I literally hook it directly to the battery and turn it on from there uh, the batteries are on this cool little trolley that I can move around this isn't my permanent setup this is gonna be temporary that's why they're just sitting under here inside I know I should keep them outside I'm gonna build a battery box eventually uh, with some fans on it to keep it ventilated and keep it outside but this is my setup for the time being but uh yeah so if you want to use the uh, the lights just plug it on up and then there's a small switch here and there you go now they're not terribly bright but in an emergency they'd be just fine I think they'd suffice and it's pretty cool. I mean, they pretty much give them to you, you know, for free with the kit. Mm. About the charge controller, it is rated at 4 amps. So it probably won't handle more than just the, the panels it comes with. If you want more panels or you want to add panels, I'd recommend you getting a MPP, multi-power point tracking charge controller. They're a little bit more efficient and they can handle more power depending on which one you get. Now this button right here can turn on and off the LED display this displays your voltage right now I'm at 12 just because we have a little bit of overcast and I'm running my high-tech x4 battery charger to charge some of my lipos now this system here it's only 45 watts I didn't buy it to power my house and I know I could have got a better deal if you go on Amazon for example you can get solar panels for about a dollar a watt this system's gonna cost you about three dollars a watt but I bought this more for hobby use slash emergencies and all that and like right now I'm using it to charge some of my lipos up but uh, I've used it to charge my Ryobi this is my 40 volt battery for my weed trimmer uh, I charge up all my Ryobi 18 volts and it does all that just fine on a full day uh, the voltage won't even get below 13 but uh, right now we're at 12 just because I'm pulling a little bit of a load on it and there's no not really any sun to produce power uh, but this setup works really good for charging my batteries kind of see now to hook the system up, it's pretty simple. I mean, you got an input for your, from your solar panels, and then you got the output to your batteries, and right here's a fuse. And then the batteries, it has two alligator clips, and you literally just hook it, hook it to your positive and negative. I have two of these batteries here. Like I said, I only use these because that's what I had laying around. I didn't want to go out and spend $100 on a deep cycle, which inevitably is what I'm going to end up with, but this works for now. These are old batteries anyways, and I might as well get what I can out of them. But uh, I'll take you outside and show you what the panels actually look like. You can see the panels right here. They're 15 watts a piece, and this little red one, it doesn't come with this. I added this. It's at 1.5 watt. I never found any use for it until now, and I just wired it up with these panels. So I'm getting about 46.5 watts on a full, full sunny day. Now I didn't use the include. I did use the included stand, which is this plastic pipe design with these uh, wing nuts and stainless bolts or uh, galvanized bolts. 
and actually made this wooden frame for these to sit on top of just because it works a little bit better how the sun is on mine and I have it perched up on two bricks on the rear and it gets you know a full day's worth of sunlight from dusk till dawn pretty much and uh, I can get full power up but you know at least six seven hours out of the day and then the cable they all hook up there and just runs into the house and as you already saw to the charge controller like I'm saying you cannot power your house with this I don't expect to power your house with this system I bought this strictly for hobby use and just to charge up my batteries and in case of a power outage I could easily charge my cell phone you know any communications I need uh, it keeps all my batteries charged and I, I really like the system you know so far so good so if you're thinking about getting into solar and you don't want to do anything too big and you just want something easy to set up I, I recommend the kit I mean it's pretty good so far I've had it for two weeks now uh, one thing is I don't know how the air quality is around where you live but I've had to wipe my panels off probably about once so far once just because when it rains you get a lot of dirt and stuff and that comes down with the rain and uh, you do have to go out there every now and again with a little bit of Windex and just wipe down the panels um, they have a glass cover so wipe the glass down real well and be careful because I had out of the box the one of my panels on the back was already cracked so if I are you when you buy these panels check them before you leave the store because the closest store for me was about 30, 45 minutes away, and I didn't check them until I got home. Really, the crack didn't actually affect it too bad. It just kind of spiderweb the, the back of the panel. The front of the panel is fine. And when I tested it on my voltmeter, I still got full output. So this is my panel system. Let me know what you think.